Hey, everybody, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 195, Habits That Improve Your Life and Decor. And the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 195. All right. Well, here we go. Um, There are so many little things that you can do to improve your decor and your life and maybe both at the same time. And we're going to talk about those things today. So get ready for lots of tips and lots of good ideas. I want to just ask everybody who's listening, and if you're driving, keep your one hand on the steering wheel. Raise your hand if you make your bed every morning. I see you. And oh, look at all the ones that don't make their bed. (laughs) I'm trying to, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. And I do love it. I do love it. But you know, I couldn't for a while. My daughter was here and she played with pens on my bed all the time. I remember that. Yeah. And so I couldn't because then she got pen marks all over it. So um, anyways, so we miss her. She's moved out. But the good news is I can make my bed. So I'm getting in the habit of it. So I am doing it. I I love the days that I do that. It's wonderful. Kelly tells me that she makes her bed every day now too. I do. And today, you know, we're podcasting obviously or doing our recording. And I thought, okay, well, I can either get dressed <laughs> or I can make my bed. I have to have your PJs. And that's Sophie's choice. No, I have to say I'm in regular clothes uh, because we start super early here for in, me. Yeah, Pasadena. And I don't mm-hmm. like to come out of my studio at, you know, 11 o'clock. I'm like, oh, I feel like a mole. I crawl <laughs> and I still have my pajamas on. So, but today I am dressed like mm-hmm. a, you know, I'm not PJs, but like my loungewear sometimes mm-hmm. I wear. So I'm not wearing my loungewear. I am dressed like a normal person that could go out in a car and, on the street, but my bed is unmade. And I know, and I thought this is going to really bug me when I come back in because uh-huh. now I'm in this habit of doing it and it is so nice. It's well, the your littlest bed thing, the... but it makes a big difference. Yeah. First of all, your bed is the biggest thing in your room. And if it's all messy, your whole room looks messy. And not only that, there's a really cool book out and I have it and I can't, I've, I've talked about it before and it's by um, a military person and he talks about that making your bed is, um, if you do it every day, it's a discipline. And I know at military schools, they make those guys make their beds and in the military because it's a task well done. And that starts your day on a good spin. I so, bought that mm-hmm. book on your recommendation mm-hmm. for my dad. Isn't it good? And my mom loved oh, it too. She It's very slim little volume and she read it in one sitting. I just sent it because he had a little operation and hasn't been feeling good. So he had a stack of books by his bedside. So I sent it to him and I know they both really enjoyed it. Well, so. can you hear me <laughs> leafing through my books? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's really good. I mean, I haven't read it, but I, sh- I should have read it before I mailed it. <laughs> yeah. And get well to Kelly's dad. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank Kelly's you. He dad. is feeling better. Well, and besides making your bed, one of the first things I like to do is to go downstairs and open up all of the shades. And I pull them up as I can't reach all the way to the top of the window, but I pull them up as high as I can and just get all that sunlight coming in. And I think that's just as important as the making bed. Really, for me, it's even more important to get that sunlight into the house. Mm -hmm. And if it's nice weather, open up those windows. Oh, there's nothing like fresh air coming in this morning. When I woke up, um, I opened my 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 beautiful curtains that I'll be showing soon because my make my uh, bedroom makeover is almost done, and um, the, we had cracked the window and the air coming in was so wonderful, this cool but not too cool spring air. So man, I opened up all those windows. That makes you feel good. I just love to like freshen up the room that way. I um, just added a giant plant a ficus to my bedroom i may have told you guys this not on the podcast but and so now i am like a slave to opening those windows for that plant because <laughs> that plant was so heavy and I, I i put rocks in the bottom for drainage and the whole nine yards and i i don't know how i got it up the stairs but it was one of those like the ant can move the rubber tree plant well you're Kelly little but mighty can move a ficus <laughs> up the stairs and i thought i 
really don't want this plant to pass away in my bedroom. So uh, my window shades are pulled up high, 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 so it can get as much sunlight as it wants. And yeah, it is really nice because sometimes I don't open them all the way in my bedroom, but I've been doing that recently because of the plant and its health. Um, And it makes such a difference. Because yeah, sometimes I don't does. go back in my bedroom all day, mm-hmm. but even just I'm passing by to have all the light streaming in is lovely. That's and a plants good one. are just so pretty, mm-hmm. like one nice big plant. And this one I, I know Anita does is eat breakfast every day. Oh. <laughs> That's good <laughs> yeah. for your life. Yeah. Well, except while I'm doing this detox, I'm not eating breakfast these oh, two days. Oh, well, just your a little... detox is your breakfast. I Well, it's a, yeah, it's a little powder and some water. But but yes, normally I do eat breakfast and then, you know, I have my tea. But the first thing, you know what the first thing is I do though? And this, I think, is so good for your health is to drink a glass of not too cold water every morning. I do a tall glass of water before I have anything else. Anita, okay. I have heard that. And I it, do that too. And I put mm-hmm, a lemon mm-hmm. in it and I- That's start, even better. Yeah. I started putting a lemon in after we had the Paleo Secret as one of our sponsors because that was one of the big things that they talked about, how that does all these wonderful things to your whole body and gets everything going the way it's supposed to be going. It's made a big difference. I just feel good. And you feel just super clean. I don't know. Just having that lemon water. I'm going to have to make that part of my morning. I Once in a while, I know that I should do it. But man, that coffee beckons me so hard. <laughs> like, oh, no, you no, need the water first, first, though. Yes, yes I, think I it makes, know. I really think it, it just kind of, you don't realize how your body's not working so well when you're dehydrated. So that is something, it, everything in your body works better right. with that. And then the caffeine hydrated. will re, uh, again rehyd- um, dehydrate you as well. I know I have it a does. post I did a while ago on that. I'm remembering now, and it was about the lemon water changing the size of your plate if you want to start having different por- portions so mm-hmm. you don't oh, that's feel a good one. deprived. Smaller plate. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a really yeah, good plate. one. So I'll link to that because I think there's a lot of uh, info on there about why the lemon really does whatever it does to, to make you better. But uh, just the fact that, you know, we're always saying a bowl of fruit. So it's mm-hmm. a great reason to buy a few bags of lemons. And if you're using them every day, so I'll just cut one up and then have little slices in a Ziploc or something in the fridge. So it's, so it's not like, Oh, I'd rather make my tea than pick out a lemon and cut it. I mean, it seems like the littlest thing, (laughs) but like, you're just like, Oh, I have to make lunch for the girls. I'm busy, busy. Oh, I just forego the lemon. I just have Mm -hmm. it like one sliced up, bam, bam, bam. And now even my daughter, Lara, she wants lemon in her water um, that she takes to school in her water bottle. Oh, I love that. It will make a difference. And it will, um, it evens out your uh, body's pH as well. Maybe that's what it's doing. Because it's actually- kind of along those same lines of, kind of take care of business when you get up, get the bed taken care of, open the shades, have your water. Another thing that I'm really working on is as soon as things come out of the dryer. Now, I had a really packed day yesterday, so I didn't follow it yesterday. But in general, I've been doing so much better when things come out of the dryer, hang them up, fold them, uh, because just my life had gotten so crazy. Things were just it's just terribly wrinkled. I mean, it's just so much easier just to hang them right away. I cannot even tell you the pile I have. And now, and then it got to the point where some, then somebody went out to get socks for school and dropped the pile that I was like, this is the clean pile. And then that fell on the floor. And then I couldn't tell which was which. And then I had to do them all over again. (laughs) Well, you know, I, I have on my list to do one load of laundry a day. So, you know, I usually do like whites, mediums, darks, delicates, and then like anything else. And then you don't, because my problem is like the laundry, there's, I mean, there's usually only two of us. Sometimes like every room is filled and, you know, with the bedding and the this and that and the other, if you do one a day and then you, what you said, Anita, out of the dryer, fold it, hang it, whatever. But here's the key. You have to put it away. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm I know. sorry. Kelly. And my daughter did the same I thing. I mean, sh- my little sweet Elise, she wanted everything so neat. And so if she saw a pile, it was clean clothes. But she just thought pile of clothes, there's two pile of clothes, let's combine them. So she would take my clean clothes mm-hmm. and put them in the dirty pile. I can't tell you how many times that happened. And so, well, you know, I'm I know glad that you said this as something to start doing, because I haven't been doing that. And it, it weighs on you. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. 
Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with DOS to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing DOS two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with DOS about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give DOS a shot and invest in your health like I have, DOS is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Something that Yvonne had said a long time ago, I think when we were talking about organizing is keep going, put mm-hmm. it away. Yes. And I hear oh. her voice all the time. I'll have something and I'll be like, oh, well, I'm not going upstairs right now. And it, you know what? I hear you say, keep going, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly <laughs> now I'm going to hear don't... Anita say, fold the laundry, Kelly. Uh, we're the right? voice and in I'm your head. Do it. Yes. Because it's mm-hmm. such a better idea than making, obviously having, you know, the clothes you washed and took the time to do fall on the floor or get wrinkled or just yes. sit there and no one can wear it them. It just gets so wrinkled. There's right. so much neater if you do it. I mean, and I'm and talking myself. it has myself. to get done anyway. I know. If you're I'm right, right. And I'm glad you're saying it. But it has to get done anyway. So you just might as well do it. It's like and the dishes in the sink. Just do yeah. it. No one's going to do it for you. And it makes your house look neater. Yeah. You don't so want to have, I have you feel better laundry. about your house. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, You're so on I have top. a decorish one. Okay. Um, yes. decor. Anyway, how about make it a habit of thinking out of the box? Oh, I like that. More one, Kelly. frequently than maybe you do. Like, think, what can I do with this box too? Mm-hmm. You know, like, <laughs> think of different ways to use things in your house or different ways to approach things like storage or. Uh, things that you need, but you might say, oh, I'll have to go buy more things to get to actually get that done or put that away. No, think out of the box. Look at things in a different way. How can you use that space? Or, oh, I have empty space above a armoire or something. Get three baskets and stack them up there, but put your old tax returns in one or and put mittens in the other or something like that. So think of different (laughs) ways that you can use space in Mm -hmm. your house, that you can use um, anything that has uh, open volume in it and a lid. How can you use that to your advantage? And definitely focus on uh, spaces in your house that are not being used to their optimum. Mm -hmm. Here's another, here's another idea I have. 
and that's uh, change around your furniture. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're, they sort of piggyback and buy one investment piece a year. And mm. um, and, and actually, I'll tell you, um, I just got delivered today from, from Wayfair, the most gorgeous four dining room chairs. Ah. And I've had um, 18th century mahogany chairs that I painted and I've recovered and I have a bench in the front. But uh, last time we all got together, my family, I had some little complaints from some people saying, oh, I don't like to sit on that bench, you know, blah, blah, blah. So mm-hmm. I thought, yeah, it's well, not comfy for you, no, but it's, it's great not. for photos. It, it, see, that's just it. In my house right they now. They don't get it, do they? Well, they do, but they sort of roll their eyeballs at me. But anyway, I got these four gorgeous chairs and that was my investment for this year. Well, sort of for this year, I have one little other one, but here's the thing. Rome wasn't built in a day and either is a room you want to redo. It has taken me six years to take my dining room from 18th century mahogany dining room suit, uh, uh, oriental carpet, uh, butter yellow walls and to uh, sonnet, which is a beautiful neutral color. I painted a a buffet. Uh, I got a a concrete dining room table, got um, neutral padded side chairs, big side chairs, and then um, these uh, a rug that I love and these four chairs. And, you know, start somewhere. And I, where I started my room, other than painting it, and I think that should be another thing that you should just paint a room the color you love, um, is that you start thinking about what you, what you would change out. And the first thing I changed out in that room was my rug. Now the rug was really not inexpensive. And so I bought a, um, a vintage buffet and I painted it that year. And then the next year I bought two chairs. And then in the meantime, I'm painting mahogany chairs and upholstering them and benches and things. And I finally, after all these years, I looked at my dining room and I thought, wow, I think we're done. But you okay. know, you're oh, never wow. done. You're never done. But if you buy an investment piece a year that, and you can work it into your decor, like if you, like my living room, my first piece was, I bought a, a sofa. Yeah. And I just yeah, worked around it. Yeah, no, you have to build it. on it. And, mm-hmm. you know, as you evolve, and you don't want to buy it all at one time. And, you know, your thoughts on the way the room is may change over the years too. Oh, so. it will mm-hmm. definitely change many, 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 many times. But that gives you time. Right. Enjoy the process. I know people want like these instantly fabulous, what they have room in, in a mind. Box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> room yeah, in a yeah. box, right? Or that looks like it's from a... Uh, design studio floor. You don't want them to look like that. You want it to look like you. So buy one piece a year. And I can't tell you the things that I used in my dining room from all over my house Yeah, um, that I change up my furniture. Now I have this and I'm sure I'll change it again. And right. I'll, I have, but I have chairs in the basement that I can bring up when I get tired of them. Right. And yeah. maybe don't even think about it as a, oh, I'm splurging on this. If you love decor and you love your home, as you probably do, if you're listening to us and you spend a lot of time there, Put, just put it into the budget. Mm-hmm. You know, one, That's you what, know, I'm, yes. what you can allot for yourself mm-hmm. and everybody's, you know, investment piece is probably at a different place in the scale, you yeah, know, as many dollar signs point. as you That's feel right. comfortable with, you know, and then that is your thing and it don't feel guilty about it. Uh, you know, and, just make it part and parcel of what you do. I mean, you do home maintenance. It's kind of like a home maintenance thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, another thing I was thinking, a little small thing, it's such a small thing. You don't think it's going to make a difference, but it does is I keep a cordless vacuum upstairs and downstairs. Now I have a big, and I, you know, I, I have a big, expensive, nice vacuum, but you know, do I pull it out and pull the cord out and plug it in? No, I go get that cordless one, unplug it and just zip around the house and then go plug it back in. And it's great. I actually use the vacuum so much more. Fabulous it's so easy idea. to whip out. I fabulous, think that's a great fabulous, idea. I, yes. Idea. It's such a smart idea. Mm-hmm. And I don't do that either, but I have thought about that. So it's not a dust buster. It's like a one on a stick. Yes. Well, it's it's actually, most of these are two part. It is on a stick, but then there's a handheld part that comes off or there's a, and usually there's attachments Mm-hmm. So I've got two different ones, but they all work. They work great. And this one has a, you know, you just empty out the fuzz or whatever in the canister. There's no bags to replace. 
Oh, can you link that in the show notes? Yeah, because I will. Can you fit yeah. it under a bed, a normal bed? I think you could, sure. Funny you should say that. I'm looking at one that begins with the letter D and it's a cordless mm-hmm. and because I need a new vacuum and it looks so appealing to me because it exactly what you said. It you just zip it around, it's not such a big deal and like you can get cobwebs like in the corners of your ceilings because of the attachment. Oh, so right, glad to, right. and I'm so happy to know that you like yours because I'm thinking about, yeah, I think it's about time now for me. It's an inv- that's an investment, but that's something that I have to do. Like if you get, if you know, you can get a shop back for your garage, you can buy a new vacuum for your, for your home. Yeah, they're right. I mean, a lot of them are about a hundred dollars and you can easily get something for less, but yeah, it's got the little handheld thing that you can use to just take around and, and do, um, yeah, tabletops or whatever. Yeah, that's well, I'm really bent smart. over like the hunchback of Notre Dame with my <laughs> dust buster all the time. I don't know why we have all these dust bunnies. Like, it's not my house. It's so not dirty. Well, we have you a collie. Cl- I know where ours You know how cla- you crazy clean it? I am? But where do I have these... I have, you have two herds of dust bunnies. Herds yeah, of them. I don't well, know. you have they a just... little girl and a boy uh, for for a baby. So yeah, I know, but they don't. One. Well, Edith sheds a little bit, but Emma doesn't. Emma shed. doesn't. No, well, but a, also think multi- about this: you have hardwood floors. Oh yeah, and you have sisal rugs, so uh, those all yes. create a little bit of dust. Well, I think if you have hardwood floors, you see all this stuff. That if you have carpet, you don't see it. It's not that it's cleaner. Well, that's the thing it about just carpet that there. freaks scary, me out. Yeah, I, know, scary thought. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, oh, it's good not to see it, but then it's not good not to see. Who it. knows what's in there? Yeah, who lur- what yeah, lurks? But- yeah, um, I do lurks. have another, okay. I do have another one on the, cl- we'll keep it to cleaning for another minute. Mm-hmm. I have a 30 minute cleaning method that I swear by, and it's not for organizing. That's 10, how to organize in 10 minutes a day. And I'll put that in the show notes, but once you're organized, you can clean your house. Now I, I, my house is sort of large, so I clean my downstairs and I clean my upstairs. And then wherever I leave off, like, let's say I start at my front door and I'm going around and around and around and I get to my dining room, ding, 30 minutes is off. Uh, okay. Well, that's where I pick up tomorrow and it's not deep cleaning. It's not spring cleaning. It's cleaning. And then when my downstairs is done, I do the same thing mm-hmm. for my upstairs. And I mean, it's speed cleaning. And then you do the downstairs again. Cause I don't want to spend more than 30 minutes a day cleaning my house. I think that's great. That's a great idea. And you and always have a clean, these, cleanish house. <laughs> yeah. And along these lines of cleaning and being neat, this is another thing that I'm so guilty of and I'm working on is when a piece, because we all get these bills and things in the mail that all <laughs> need to be filed. And I kind of let them pile up on a pile. And then at the end of the month or maybe longer, if I've been super busy, then I sit down and file them. But then I think for a lot of people, it feels overwhelming. You feel like I don't have a time. I don't have an hour to sit down Mm -hmm. and file everything, but it's the same sort of thing. If you have the bill in your hand, you just paid it, walk over to the file cabinet and put it in or shred it or throw it away. Such a good idea, Anita. That's what I'm working. I'm working uh, on it. Hi, I'm Yvonne. <laughs> I'm a bill f- uh, piler upper. Bill stacker? Yeah. Yes. Stacker. I, I just don't, I hate to file. Well, I yeah. think that paper clutter is plaguing so many people and we are going paperless, but we really haven't gotten there yet. So if you have an opportunity Again, it's taking time out of your day. So sometimes you're like, yeah, I'll go paperless next time they send me the bill. But if you can (laughs) go paperless, you know, maybe take that second and click over and do whatever you need to do to make that happen. And then you can have these little computer files Mm -hmm. where you don't have to look at them and the thing comes in and you just go ding and then it goes into whatever file you want to have on your desktop or or at least you can find it if you search for it. It's on your computer and it's not cluttering up your desk or well, and making you go buy a file cabinet at the container store. Oh, I love the container store though. It might be <laughs> worth it. No, no, but just get the go paperless and then you don't even need to go to the container but listen, store. Even, I, even when you go paperless, Anita, I get so much mail. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well, I do too. And yeah, yeah. I okay. To, so I'm done, I really I'm, don't get much mail anymore. I, I, well, stopped, I canceled a lot of catalogs because I can look online, not that I stopped right. shopping. Um, so I suggest people do that. The girls had something for their school at one point where they got credit. If you did something like that, and man, my girls got a lot of credit. Because <laughs> I was right. But here's so the thing with catalogs. the paperless. 
if you go paperless, I mean, and I, again, I'm kind of, uh, I am on some bills, but not on others. If you go paperless, it's so easy to find something on the computer. I can't tell you how many times if I'm looking for something, if it's on my computer, I can find it in about, you know, maybe less than 30 seconds. But if I have to go through a file to find something, oh. it could be a day. Oh, yeah. So, and mm-hmm. then you find something else. You're like, do I still need this? Let me do it. Um, so let's jump back into a more decorish, although okay. organizing and cleaning is certainly very important in the home. Make it a habit of having repetition in your home. Don't think that, oh, I have this one thing. I would be so boring and not so interesting if I had it again in another room or had it again in another way in the same room. It's important to have repetition. Intentionally mm-hmm. repeating an element mm-hmm. three or even a little bit more times in a room is a great way to decorate. And it doesn't have to be the exact same identical item. It could be a color. Mm-hmm. So again, you know, it's what yeah, we've talked about with good. flow. But if you if you let your mind think, this is not like the easy way out if I get, you know, three boxwood wreaths and I put them through my house, or if I get three of this item in this particular color and put them out, that's a great way to decorate. And it really will give your house a cohesive look because one is sort of an accident. Mm -hmm. Two is like, oh, whoops. But three is a pattern Mm -hmm. and it's Mm -hmm. really pleasing to your eye. And it's a great, easy habit to get into when you're decorating. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is that's a great idea. And you're right, the color just repeating the color mm-hmm. does I'm thinking that. of like a uh, we have a, a mirror that's a clock that's a circle and um I was thinking, wow, what if I added like a round tape like a round uh coffee table or end tables to that? That would really work out good. But then also I have a round basket and in that I have a round glass vase. So repeating just even an element or a shape. Shape, that's, right? Great. That is so important. Here's an Here's another thing. I think uh, you should make a habit of inviting people over. Oh. Now, that will help both you, both your decor and your life. Because oh, that's a great if, idea. Yeah. If and you, I why, think that's right. And, and, then, and when you invite the person over, invite the happy people. <laughs> Yay! I mean, that means ones, me. I don't I'll know. be coming. <laughs> invite us. And yeah, 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 what, yeah, you know, here's what I, I think we don't, I think we should use the beautiful homes that God's given us. We're just so blessed. And I think that we should invite people over. You don't have to have a five course dinner, invite mm-hmm. them over for a cocktail or invite them over for a cup of coffee. Or, you know, my mother is so good at this. Like she'll go out to dinner with friends or, you know, we'll go out to dinner somewhere and she'll say, why don't you come back and have dessert at my house? Oh, now it's a nice, and, easy way to do it. Yeah. And my mom, I mean, honestly, she's, she's not Miss Betty Crocker. I love my mom, but you know, she's a, a passable cook, a, a good cook, but like she'll make like a lemon supreme cake. That's something that she can really make. Well, if she uses half of it, she'll freeze the other half. And she's very mm. happy to unthaw that, p- throw some, uh, you know, whipped cream or something on the top of it, give somebody a cup of whatever they want. And that's good enough. And I think you're right, mom. That's fine. You don't have to go go crazy. (laughs) What's your mom's name? Anella. Anella? Yes. Like vanilla? Like vanilla with an A. Anella. I never knew that. What an interesting Mm -hmm. name. It's, I think. I've never heard that. It's like a Hungarian or Russian sort of name. My, I think my, I have family that came from Anella, and it got changed into Anella. <clears throat> I mean, Anella they came from, from the old Anella. Country. Could be very. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting yes. um, address. Except my 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 mom, my father's from Missouri, so and he was in the Air Force, and they got married, and his parents were just, you know, I, poor farmers. I don't know how a nicer way to say it, and they couldn't come to the wedding. If, I mean, this was back in, you know, the way long ago. And um, the first time that my grandmother met my mother, she says, because her name is Anella. Hi, Nell. <laughs> so my mom wasn't too happy about that. But anyway, mom, mom is right. Have people come over. I mean, That's even, so fun. yeah, just stop in, play a game, do something. I just learned how to play Marjan. 
Did you? That yeah. And, and Kelly, we were talking about that and you were right. It does have tiles. My sister-in-law just showed me the cards and I just thought you used cards, but, um, yeah, no. I like the sound those tiles make. I've I've seen those at the Rose Bowl, like old sets of. The I'd Marjons. love to get an old set. So when we take Marjons our trip, set. we need to play that. Let <gasps> me tell you, it is not an easy game. But if you have other people that like Scrabble, or we love Mexican train dominoes, or cards, or charades. I mean, I could play charades till like five in the morning. Um, invite people over because it Mm -hmm. makes you aware of the surroundings of your house. It shares your house with other people. And I think it's good for your life. Well, right. And I, that's right. I mean, and if you're a home decor enthusiast, I I think most of us are nesters. We love being in our house. Our house is warm and cozy. That's very important to us. And what a great gift to your friends to have them over to your house, or maybe people that are going to be new friends. So I think that's a great idea. And, and make that a habit. Like, yeah. My, and if you're not a party person, just have one or two over. You don't have to right. invite 20 people. Good. Right. And here's a, like my daughter and her husband, the ones that live on Capitol Hill, they have people over for dinner. I'm not kidding you, like four times a week. They wow. love to do that. And they love people. And their house always looks great because they just, it's like effortless. They They know what you know, to make, and they work as a team and that's how they go. And you know, uh, during the depression, my grandparents, uh, actually my granddad never lost his job during the depression, but you know, so many people did that were, it was just really hard on the whole country. They had people over for dinner all the time. And I'm always so thrilled that they did. It just warms my heart that they were so giving to the community. Oh, yeah. 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 And that's just not hospitality. That was sustenance, I'm sure. Yeah, and even people they they didn't know. I mean, they would just somebody look down on their luck. You know, they would, of course, invite Yeah, meet somebody wherever, at church Mm -hmm. or wherever you want to go. And if you like them, um, um, just work on that friendship. That's a good thing to do. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold at the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. I learned, and this is an attitudinal thing. So this is about life, but it involves decor. Um, One of my 
biggest adages here at Stone Gable is people are more important than things. Mm-hmm. And, you know, things are going to get broken. I remember we had a family over and the little boy bumped a table. I forget what he knocked over. It was something like ceramic or something. He started to cry and I and his dad got mad. And I said, hey, listen, it's no biggie. We're just so glad you're here. People are more important than things. Yeah. And you still feel that way after that orange soda got spilled on your rug? I am. Because look, look, I, I ripped it up and I have hardwood floors. Thank you. Oh, there you go. I spilled orange <laughs> soda that all over my That reminds me rug. of this time that we were renovating a house out, uh, south, out in Southampton in New York. And Peter was shaking. We were going to paint the room and it had carpeting. And I was like, oh, oh hey, this doesn't can't take sound carpet. good. And he was shaking. He had the can of the gallon and he had it in between his hands horizontally and he's shaking it. And I don't Bam! The the cap came off, and a gallon of paint spewed over no. the icky carpet. And I was like, uh. "Yes, <laughs> <laughs> happy ending." Oh, he was like, "I'm so sorry." I didn't say I hadn't even expressed the fact. You said the carpet oh. grossed me out, and because we yeah. were on a very tight budget, we were yeah. painting ourselves, and uh, but you know, it was you know really. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing I'm that. Like, oh, honey. Or you can layer a rug over it, one or the other. Let's let it dry and get really crusty. Then we can't <laughs> change it. And then we'll talk about oh, some my. hardwood floor. So that was a good thing. How about adding fragrance to your house? Yes. And not just... You know, oh, the candle someone gave me or an essential oil I picked up at the grocery store, but really giving it some time and sort of like your own personal perfume, selecting a particular scent for your home that expresses Mm -hmm. what you want your signature scent. Your signature scent. Yes. I think that's a lovely thing. Do you have one? Do I have one? I have a candle and right now I can't even tell you. I've... I've been working on my signature scent for this house. I did have a signature scent for my other house. Oh, what was no, your other one? You can't one? use the Do same tell. one. How no, does because work? it's I don't want to break the rule. No, Do well, tell, you can. Though. You could have a consistent signature scent. I have had a consistent perfume since I met my husband. And one time he, when I, we were first dating and he said, you smell really good. I was like, okay, write that That's down. It. What am I wearing? <laughs> okay, he likes that, right? And uh, so I have been wearing the same perfume for 25 years plus. But I think my uh, the houses, you know, they sort of have my current home is very different than my other home and its look and its feel. So I wanted to have a different scent. And I did find one that I really, really like. And I think I am now at the point where I'm going to commit and I'm going to buy a few more candles in that scent. Kelly, tell us. I, I want to know what your past house scent was and what you think this one's going to be. Well, my past house sense was a, definitely, as you know, it was an autumnal look inside. <laughs> so it was definitely a warmer was it scent. Pumpkin spice? No, it, it was cinnamon sort of a, clove. No, no, I don't. I don't like fruity scents or anything. That I, it's like I like bergamot. I like that scent, which is oh, like sort of the yeah, Earl Grey tea. Mm-hmm. And so I like a cleaner scent. So uh, the other one that had heavy bergamot, grapefruit, in it, oh, I love which that. is sort of cl- you know a cleanish scent, but warm, like somewhat mm-hmm. musky. So that was kind mm-hmm. of the scent, and I can't remember the exact name of the candle that I liked, but. Um, this house has a different feel and I'm searching it out, but I think I've honed in on it and I will check it out and I will put my signature scent in the show notes. Oh, I, I can't get the name. Oh, make us I have to look at, well, I have to look hmm. at the bottom of the candle. I, I will muck it up. I know what it smells like, but it'll, it'll take too many words to explain it. But I think that's really nice. Then if anyone comes into your house and says, oh, your house smells so great, you could just casually say, well, that's my signature scent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, oh. I want to be able to say that. <laughs> First that- of all, it's very cool to say that. And secondly, if it's a person that's you know in your inner circle, that person may then buy you that candle for your birthday or Christmas, uh, right? Oh. And then you have a constant <laughs> supply of your signature scent. The ulterior motive. I see it. Right. Well, it's, you know, people are always at a loss what to buy people, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. people who do, you know, have, are so intense about their home decor as we mm-hmm. are, you know. We can oh. be hard to buy for. I well, yeah, it. only the bravest of I don't, souls. I'm not pink. I mean, I just am happy with anything, but people say that, well, I feel like I can't get you just anything. I think, oh, you can. Oh, Really? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, it's... We'll let everyone make up their own mind on that. (laughs) 
<laughs> the elegant so on that one. note, on we're that winding note. down. Anything else? <laughs> I have a list, but I'll put it in the show notes. Okay. We'll do a we'll do a num- a little habits number two. Okay. So oh, okay, one. that'd be fun. And do we have any a, a listener tip? Oh, today? I do, I do, I do. Oh, I have a tip of the day. Ring your from, bell mm-hmm. from June. June sends us a tip of the day about um, recovering your carpets from some furniture dents. And June says that what you do is, so say you had a chair and then you move it. Like we're telling you, rearrange your furniture. And now there are dents where your chair legs were. Oh, in Ta- the carpet. In the carpet. Yes. Take a an ice cube and rub it gently back and forth and then sort of swoosh over the carpet with your index finger. Then do a little ice cube rub. And you don't want to, so the water will help it revive itself and lift back up. But you don't want to pour water on it. So mm-hmm. the ice cube is key because it will give you a slow release of water and you can fluff. So wow. cube, Great. rub the cube, fluff. Mm-hmm. Rub the cube, fluff. Until you've got it back <laughs> rub and to fluff. where you want it to be. Rub and fluff. Rub and and fluff. I've heard this. Has, have either of you used this technique? I haven't tried it. I have I've heard not. of it before, but I've never tried it. I have so few rugs that I don't really have dents. But- well, that's true. But if you've used it, if you're listening and you've used it, we want to know, does this tip work? But it sounds fantastic. Yes. And you have it right on hand. Um, so yeah, please send us your tips. Uh, I have a list of tips, but you know, I can always have more tips and we would love to be sharing you. So June, thank you so much. I hope you're yes, listening. Thank you, June. Thank you, June. All right. Fantastic. Well, this has been fun. And uh, this is a reminder for me. I've got to start making my bed every day. Uh, yeah. I'm going to ask Evie to get to take a picture. Ah! Oh, send it to my me. goodness. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if she takes a picture, I'm taking a picture in the sanctuary over her room. Oh, where her room is, where the door well, She's going to do it. You'll never all the know. Time. You'll never know. So start making the that bed, chamber. Anita. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's chambered. The chambre is closed all the time. Well, it's so it's so fun hanging out with you, and we enjoy sharing all our best tips and tricks and hearing yours. So remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody, we want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.